Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make a Mod 8 and a Mod 6 synchronous counter. So first you're going to need three JK flip-flop. I'm going to use a CD4027 JK flip-flop. So place down one, two, and three. Next, connect all the set and reset pin to ground. Like that, like that. Place. Okay, I'm going to move this over a bit. Next, connect all your clock together because this is synchronous, so they all share the same clock. And for the clock, I use the component dig clock or digital clock. Connect that and change the off time and on time to 8.3 millisecond because that will give you 60 hertz. Just my preference. Now connect your first JK to 5 volts or high. So source. Oops, that was not what I wanted. Five volts, and don't forget to uh, connect the ground to it. All right. Next thing we're going to need is an AND gate. So I'm going to use a CD4081 AND gate with the two input, and I'm going to place it between the second and third JK flip flop. Okay. So before I continue, I just want to say this key right here. That's your first output. This is going to be A. This is going to be B. And this one is going to be C. So A, B, C. Okay. So connect your first output or A to the end gate and also the JK of the second flip flop. Now connect B or the output of your second flip flop to the end gate as well. And connect the end gate to the JK of the third flip-flop and you are done so take the measurement clock your A output B output and C output give it a second check mm, looks about right and oh wait one more thing edit the simulation profile so set it to 200 millisecond and go to option, gate level simulation, general, and change the digit something state to zero. Then simulate it. So here it is. This is the mod 8 synchronous counter. 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and when it's about to reach 8, it resets back to zero 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 so this is working yeah so now we're gonna do mod 6 and to do that we're gonna need a comparator so all comparator is is let's say you want the value one one zero which is six in binary so you want it to reset to zero 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 when it hits this value right here so this is going to be my A output, B output, and C output. So when A is 0, B is 1, and C is 1, I want it to trigger the reset pin. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to put them all through an AND gate. A, B, C. So when A is 0, so when it's inverted, and when B is 1, and when C is 1, it's going to output a signal to the reset pin. And that's how we're going to make a mod 6. Alright, now let's build it. And I'm going to use the CD4073 AND gate for the, uh, not 72, 73, because this has three output, I mean three input. 
All right. So let's check it again. So when a is zero, so a a prime or a whatever it's called. It's going to be my first input. Uh, I don't know if that is. So when B is in here, so here's my B value. And when my C is in here, so my C value is over here. I want this to trigger to the reset pin. So my reset pin is here, here, and here. So I want this to trigger the reset pin when I get 0, 1, 1. Okay, and I'm done. Simulate it. All right, let's check it. So we got 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So 2, 3, 4, 5. And when I'm about to hit 6, it resets back to zero 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 and that is your mod six synchronous counter thanks for watching and goodbye